Hi and welcome to MRTV. In the next few days, lots of people are going to tell you that the latest Quest update is the greatest thing since sliced bread because version 25 of the software comes with Oculus App Lab, basically Facebook's version of SideQuest, making it easier for developers to deliver their content on the Quest platform. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you that not everything is so amazing and that this actually means the end of SideQuest as we know it and also the end of amazing projects like Wolfenstein, like Doom 3 or like wirelessly streaming PC VR content through virtual desktop on your Quest. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ark and this channel here is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you independent XR reviews, you're getting the latest news and thought-provoking videos just like this one here. So if you're into the topic, absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Version 25 of the Oculus Quest software is out and according to Facebook, the latest Oculus Quest update fosters developer creativity and it does so by including the Oculus App Lab. Now, what is the Oculus App Lab? Well, it makes it easier for developers to actually publish their content on the Quest platform before every single game and app had to go through a curation process and Oculus decided which games are good enough to get into the store and which games or apps aren't. And those who were not, they simply, yeah, well, they were not on the Quest store and the developer had bad luck. And that is the reason why the SideQuest project became so big. With SideQuest, Oculus Quest users could easily sideload apps and games that did not make it through the Facebook curation process onto their Oculus Quest. Everybody was kind of happy and that is the exact reason why we can stream PC VR games wirelessly through virtual desktop because, well, virtual desktop also didn't make it through this Facebook curation process and only only thanks to SideQuest we can use this app like the app developer actually wanted it to be used. Now the Oculus App Lab actually makes this sideloading process through SideQuest obsolete because developers of apps and games do not need to go through the curation process. They can simply upload their games to this Oculus App Lab and they get a link and they can actually spread this link to their followers and people who know the name of the app, they can actually even find that app or that game in the Quest Store, even though it is not listed. Sounds amazing, right? Sounds actually super amazing, more convenient. Nobody has to install SideQuest anymore and jump through these hoops to make this happen. So that is basically a very positive thing, right? There's nothing negative to it. But if you actually think deeper into it, it is not so great because SideQuest was amazing because you could find really everything there and also apps and games that did not comply with the Facebook terms and conditions because this whole SideQuest construct is completely, well, out of control, out of Facebook's control because, well, you would sideload the apps. Now, everything that you're going to find on the Oculus App Lab absolutely has to comply to the Facebook terms and conditions. So if any kind of app does not fit, does not comply to the terms and conditions, you will not be able to find it on that Oculus App Lab. So that is bad news, for example, for virtual desktop with that functionality where you can stream your PC VR games wirelessly or also to amazing projects like, for example, Wolfenstein or Doom 3 on your Quest, right? Because these things, it's not going to happen officially through Facebook. So these kind of amazing apps you will not find on the Oculus App Lab. But SideQuest is still there, you might say, right? Like for example, you can still sideload Doom 3 now and you can still sideload Virtual Desktop with the PC VR streaming capability right now, right? And 
Actually, if you read the articles, it says like Facebook embraces SideQuest and they're working together and everything is in great harmony, right? But actually, really think a bit deeper. So what is SideQuest now? What is SideQuest going to become? It's going to be just links. It's going to be links that point to the Oculus App Lab, right? And then people click there and they can install it and everything is really easy and simple and no need to jump through these hoops. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds like a great thing to do, right? But there will be apps and games that do not comply to those Facebook's terms and conditions. And for these apps and games, these simple links will not work and you will still have to jump through these hoops of, for example, enabling the developer account and making up an institution for you to be able to use that developer account. Now, the thing is, at this moment in time, like, okay, everybody is simply jumping through the hoops because, well, there is no alternative. You have to, and that's why there's lots of uh, videos who tell you how to do it and so on and so forth. But in the future, if like 95% of all the content that is on SideQuest simply works by you having to click a link without having to jump through the hoops, how many percent of the people do you think actually will jump through the hoops of activating the developer of account, of leaving their credit card details with Oculus in order to make up this developer account and, and so on and so forth. I believe very, very few people are going to do it and in a couple of years, people will wonder, hey, why do I have to jump through these hoops? And Facebook might even make these hoops more complicated. And probably you will have to pay 10 or $20 in order to get this kind of developer account. It's going to be more and more complicated to play things like Doom 3 on your Quest 3. And that's why, in my opinion, not everything is great and amazing. And if you hear lots of people tell you that this is the greatest thing since sliced bread, please do think again. It is not all that great. I totally understand that this is probably not a popular opinion and people will say, oh, I'm a Facebook hater. But honestly speaking, what do you want? Do you want the crazy hype? Like, wow, version 25 of this software is the greatest thing ever. Or do you actually want to think a bit further down the road what this actually means to SideQuest. Now, I really want to hear your opinion. What do you think? Do you agree with me? And that this actually is not the greatest thing ever happening to the Quest platform? Or do you think, no, Sebastian, come on, <laughs> don't be like this. This is amazing. And developers will just more easily get their games and apps onto that Quest platform. Please do let me know down in the comment section of this video. Also, if you want more content from me, if you want to have a peek behind the scenes of MRTV, and most importantly, if you want to support independent content, then become a member of the MRTV Elite at MRTVElite.com. It's only going to set you back $1 and you support independent content just like this. Also, make lots of noise now for the algorithm so that more people can see this video and probably start a thinking process of their own. So give it a thumbs up and do leave your comment, comment down in the comment section of this video. That's everything that I have for today. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.